Aquarius, my lovely Leos. Okay, so it's October, and you know how much I love October. So, for October, guess what's back, guys? <laughs> my spooky deck. All right, yes, it's October already. So the spooky deck is busted out. Um, I had a great time this weekend at the Gemstone Hideaway Hut. Thank you to all of you that came out. I had so much fun. I was so busy, but I had fun while I was there. Like, I have the best job ever. For those of you that came out specifically to see me, thank you so much. I had so much fun with you. <laughs> really did. It was such a blast. And I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Oh my God. Um, I'm going to try to do it again around the 28th. I already have a bunch of clients booked. So um, I love, I love it. I love traveling. I love going there to spend time with you guys. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right in, Leo. I'm going to start with your spooky deck. And I've already cleansed your space. I've already saged. I've already Paolo Santoed. And, you know, I did some energy, I did some saging and some, um, sound clearing. So the energy is fucking fantastic, Leo. We're diving right in. All right. What do we got for Leo? So this is a timeless read. Whenever you find it, it's for you. If you were drawn here, it's for a reason. Um, though it is timeless, like I said, whenever you find it, it's for you. I will be focusing on the energy of October to see what I can see for you, for your timeline for October Leo so let's dive in what do we need to know for Leo's love life bam queen of swords all right why do we have some queen of swords here let's keep going I don't know why we have queen of swords are you in bitch mode right now Leo <laughs> uh, are you in your mystery mode huh is that why we got queen of swords Okay, so right away we have this energy of like a magical, magical, magical witch. <laughs> I was going to say the other word, but um, we have the bat and the queen of swords, which makes me feel like this could be a feminine energy um, and it's not about sexual gender. It's about what you relate to, whether you feel like you're more feminine or more masculine, doesn't matter. I don't care. Neither does the universe, but this energy feels very feminine um, and very magical. We have the bat, which represents magic. Um, some people could see you as like almost like you're coming across as like very dark Leo, but I feel like you're just in this very, it's almost like you're entering your villain era, right? <laughs> um, the energy feels very cool, calm, collected, and very seductress type, and it's, it's, to me, it feels like it's because you really have felt like the energy of give and take in your re relationships and your love life has been very, like, not balanced, okay? This whole um, Six of Pentacles is about balancing things out. And in the, you know, in the card, this person is giving a bunch of money to people who... It almost feels like, you know, you feel like, Leo, like you've been giving way too much and not receiving anything back, if that makes sense. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So you're definitely, wow, <laughs> this is a beautiful energy, Leo. So it's this energy of like Queen of Swords. So you are very detached and sort of cool and calm and collected right now. You're very focused on your yourself, your life, and your career. But people see you as this very seductive, again, magical being, right? You come across as very, um, look it, there's the bats, which shows me that people see you as like very magical. And the witch also, the witch, I'm sorry, the, the, I'm thinking about how cats always have, which cats always have witches. They do. <laughs> but <laughs> I meant to say, witches always have cats. They always have black cats, right? And so to me, that represents magic. And so people are seeing you right now, Leo, as like someone who's very magical and sort of mysterious. And 
So that's going to be drawing a lot of attention for the month of October, I feel like. Wow, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. So it's possible you have a new relationship coming in, Leo. There's definitely something new on the horizon. If you look at this, um, this thing kind of reminds me of like a gazebo like that you stand under when you get married. So it feels like the next relationship that comes in is going to be extremely stable. Like if you've been craving something very stable, Leo, I think that's what's coming up next. The devil. Yes. See, look at that, Leo. Someone is very, very heavily attracted to you. And it's a very sexual attraction as well. Look at it. The devil literally can't keep it in his pants. <laughs> it's funny. And, you know, it's, you know, with the queen of swords, it's the energy of like, you're popping, Leo. You are just like on fire. Like people are looking at you. You're drawing so much attention. And there's one person in particular who has you in their sights, right? Who's very strongly sexually attracted to you. They might be a little bit afraid to approach you because, because you know, you are in this Queen of Swords energy. We have Seven of Pentacles. So they're working up their courage to try to get... They're trying to work their courage up to try to make their... To shoot their shot or make their move or whatever. And it's funny, Leo, because most people feel you come across as someone who's really not interested in love because you're so focused on working on yourself. That's what's funny is like you're you're in harvest season, Leo. You know, you're harvesting all your hard work. And so people are like not quite sure that you're if you're on the market or not and that makes you even more alluring look at that ace of wands yes there's definitely a new relationship on the horizon there's been so much growth from you my beautiful leo look at that look there's the the wands with the new growth on it right even though there's been so many things that have tried to hinder your growth and a lot of the plants are falling off of this wand right even though you've lost some things while growing, you've still grown so much. Look at that. Through all of the loss, you've still kept going and you kept growing. And now you're shining brighter than ever. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Beautiful Leo. All right. What else do we have for my beautiful fire sign Leos, please? Last tarot card for our beautiful fire sign, Leos, Knights of Pentacles. So this is someone who's wanting to make an offer, my beautiful Leos. Um, <clears throat> Knights to me always represent someone wanting to make a love offer. And it's funny because I feel like this person is going to come in money wise, like they're going to try to impress you with money and it's funny because I feel like you know some of you Leos might care about money but I feel like most of you don't because and the reason I say that is because you're such you're such a boss you make your own money so you're like money's not going to impress me whether male or female if someone starts flashing their cash you're just going to kind of laugh with tongue in cheek right so this could be someone who's in authority it could be like um, a naval officer maybe um, a police officer, um, a security guard, you know, the, this person is wearing like a cop's uniform and this is very like earth sign energy. So it would be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, right? And they're gonna, they're very patient. That's why they haven't came in yet, Leo, because they're sort of, they're the type of person that they would watch you from afar for a while and try to feel things out um, before they make their approach, right? Because they want to make sure they don't fuck it up. So <laughs> there's that. All right. I was gonna, you know what? I was gonna clear it, but we'll pull a few more cards for you, Leo. All right. Can we get a few more cards for Leo, please? 
All right, so you've let go of a lot of things in your past. You've moved on and learned a lot, right? And now you're in a place of peace and harmony, my beautiful Leos. So the lessons that you've dealt with have not been easy. Some of you might have even had to flee with children. You know, you might have fleed like a really bad relationship or something. There's a mother on the car that's, you know, fleeing with a child. Or, you know, some of you could have been doing like a lot of inner child healing work, right? You've had to learn to reparent your own inner child. And look at that. In the in the in the process of all of this, you found balance. Look at that. Beautiful balance, my Leos. <clears throat> um, and you have two ships. So this tells me you might have two options when it comes to love. So just eeny, meeny, miny, mo it, Leo. Okay. We're going to move on to the gypsy deck. And I've already shuffled these a bunch, but I'm going to shuffle them here um, in front of you too. Because I know that you guys like that. And I like to make sure I'm not pulling shit out of my butt, right? Just making shit up. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on for our beautiful Leo? Connecting now to Leo's energy, to Leo's ancestors, and my guides, Leo's guides. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. We have enemy Leo. So this person that you are in love with, or maybe you, you're not in love with them. Maybe they're in love with you. I feel like they could have started out as an enemy. And somehow you've managed to change their heart, Leo, with your beautiful big heart and energy. They cannot hate you anymore. Oh, goodness. Look at that, Leo. We have marriage. Wow. So this could be literally someone that you... So you... Yeah, this is really funny, Leo. So this could be someone who either started out as an enemy or they started out disliking you somehow and somehow you managed to win them over. They might have like in the beginning been like, oh, like Leo, like I don't like Leos. And then they met you and they were like, wow, like this is not the typical Leo, right? This She's different or he's different and, you know, they're not prideful and so on and so forth, right? And... That led to this, like them, they really, they want to marry you, Leo. There's this energy of like, they have fantasized about settling down with you, about having a life with you. And it's really funny because I, I literally feel like, um, it's someone you might not even know that disliked you in the beginning, um, I feel like you never even knew that they were, um, they had a dislike for you. So we have death. You have been going through some really heavy, beautiful transformations. My amazing fire sign Leos and the energy of transformation has been very heavy for all the signs, right? You guys are all transforming into your best selves and I'm so proud of all of you. I'm so sorry for the background noise. Um, let's get one more of these. Now we're moving along, Leo. The ascension um, energies have been really, really heavy, um, you know, because of these um, big, massive ascension shifts in the collective. So hang in there. You're doing a fantastic job. We have fortune. Wow, look at that, Leo. So not only do you have love coming in, and it's a passionate love too, because all the flowers to me represent passion and romance. You're also going to have a, sh a shit ton of money coming your way, my beautiful Leos. And you earned it and you deserve it because you've been busting your butt, working on your manifestations and working on yourself. And spirit is so proud of you. Your ancestors are rocking out right now for you. You have love coming in and you have money. And I just heard that this person, um, in the beginning, they loved to hate you, but now they, 
They live to love you. All right, one second. Okay, sorry about that, Leah. Yep. All right, it was a little bit noisy out there. So, okay. Um, we're going to move on to your Earth Magic cards, my beautiful Leos. And then we'll get um, a unicorn message for you. And we're going to call this a reading. What else does our beautiful Leos need to know? What else does Leo need to know, please? Thank you. These cards are always so hard to shuffle. They're so sticky. I don't know why. Just says have a really hard trouble like shuffling them. It's so annoying and I hate it. Like, I just don't like the way they just stick together and I cannot shuffle them no matter what I want to do. They're so sticky. Yucky. Wow. I was just looking at this card and thinking like, this is perfectly attuned to Leo's energy because as I was shuffling, it was on the bottom of the deck. And there it is. We have Lotus Flower Unfoldment. I told you that you were you were um, coming into this energy of your best self. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Leo. So you're coming into this energy of your greatest self, okay? Lotus Blossoms only grow from the the thickest most dense mud and you may have came from the dense energy the dense mud so to speak right and there you are there's your enlightened self So from those dense, darker energies, Leo, you've turned into the lotus flower. And I know for a few months now, I've been channeling the energy of beautiful enlightenment coming from you. Look at that green man's energy. Wow. So this is about finding a partner, Leo, who matches your energy. It's synergy. It's when you guys get together, you're going to be able to complement each other. You'll be able to work well together. And whatever you do is going to benefit humanity, right? It's going to benefit, you're going to work well together. So whoever it is next that's coming into your life, you're going to notice that when you two get together, that your energy meshes very well to the point where people will stop and stare. It's it's almost like you're going to have this sort of love energy together that impacts the world in a in a a beautiful way, right? People will be able to sense the balance and love and harmony between between you and it's going to impact everyone around you in such a beautiful way. I told you, look at that. You guys will be in perfect harmony. We have music harmony. Now, this could also represent that your person somehow is, you know, musically inclined. They might play an instrument. They might they might be a musician. They might sing. Um, they might do something with their voice, right? They might be a sound healer and, you know, do like, I don't know, Gregorian chants or something. I don't know, Leo. That's funny. But whatever you do, you guys are going to work together somehow to create things which will help to heal humanity. Look at that Milky Way perspective. So all of this is coming about, Leo, because you've completely changed your perspective on how to view the world and on how to view love. All right. You've done some heavy um, subconscious, um, what's it called, healing work. You've changed like your belief systems and you basically put no limits on yourself. And this love is very deep. This person that comes in, you guys have probably spent time with each other, you know, in the astral plane or like in the cosmos. I feel like when you go to sleep at night, you probably dream about each other. And so you might have seen this person or felt their energy 
you know, in your dream time state. I keep hearing cosmic love. Okay, so I'm going to get your final unicorn oracle message from your spirit guides. And then we're going to call this a reading, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If anything resonated at all, please um, thumbs up the video and consider subscribing if you haven't already because it's free. Both are free and both help me and it's going to show me that you love me. Okay. <laughs> All right, and if you want to book a reading with me, go ahead and click in the description box below my video and click on the Goldie Appointment Fix, and that will book your reading with me. All right, what is the last and final message we have for Leo? Great job, Leo. I'm so proud of you. All right. It's the final message for Leo from their spirit, guys. Please, and thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. It's been a beautiful reading. What do we got for Leo? Final message for Leo, please. Leo, we have leadership, of course. <laughs> what Leo? What? What Leo? <laughs> what <clears throat> Leo do you know that doesn't lead in some shape, form, or fashion? Right. Um, time to take that beautiful lead, Leo, and to show the world that you can lead not only with your head but also with your heart. Okay. It says, step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. Now, this is classic Leo tendency to share their message for with other people. Um, and look at this beautiful green energy. I feel like your heart chakra is on fire. You're sharing so much beautiful love and light to the world, Leo. And now it's time to shed that love and light right back to you. And it's going to boomerang right out into the world. I love you, Leo.